In this video, I want to show you how to track your vehicles on the map screen in the My Geotab web portal. You can start by clicking on Map over on the left, and then you have this search bar in the upper left corner of your map. And here you can type in the name of the vehicle, or the serial number of the device, or you can just hit this drop down arrow over to the right of the search bar. This is going to show us all of the vehicles in our fleet, and you can select one vehicle to view the location, or you can select multiple vehicles, or you can hit select all. Over on the left side, we have a list that's showing us the status of each vehicle. So here, it's showing us that we have these vehicles that are stopped. It would also show us if we had vehicles that were driving. And then down at the bottom, it's even giving us information on vehicles that are not communicating. You can view a vehicle's location on the map by zooming in on it, or you can just click on the vehicle from the list over on the left. Vehicles are going to be represented by different shapes depending on the status. And we have this legend down here at the bottom that's going to show us that. If your map does not have a legend, you can enable it by clicking on the map button up top and then show legend. Any vehicle that's represented by a triangle is a vehicle that's currently driving. Any vehicle represented by a square is one that's stopped. And then any vehicle represented by a star, like the ones we see right here, are vehicles that are stopped inside of a zone. You can mouse over any vehicle for some more information. So this vehicle is showing us the name, the zone that it's currently located inside of, that it's stopped, and how long it's been stopped at this location for. We can also get some information when we click on the vehicle. So from here, we have the option to edit the device. We would select that if we wanted to change the name of the vehicle. You can also view information from here, like the serial number or the subscription plan. The second option that we have is show trip. And that's going to open up a trip's history report for that vehicle. So it's going to show us the activity for today or whatever date range you select. And it's also going to show us the vehicle's history on the map along with the breadcrumb trail. Here we have the option to assign a driver if we want to assign a specific driver to a vehicle. And find address will show us the address closest to the vehicle that we clicked on. This, when we select that, is showing 8894 Spanish Ridge Avenue in Las Vegas. Here we have Show Street View. This will open up in Google Maps and show us a street view of where that vehicle last communicated from. And then we also have Add Square Zone here if we wanted to create a zone around where the vehicle is located. Road Speed Detail is going to show us information on the speed limit of the closest road. And then update posted road speed will allow us to make a change to the speed limit if it's changed or if there is an error. When we click on nearest, that's going to show us the vehicle that is closest to the one that we first selected. We also have some of these same options if you click somewhere on the map, not on a vehicle. So this would give us the option to find the address or the closest address to wherever we just clicked. And then show street view again add square zone here, information on the speed limit and updating it, and then nearest is going to show us, again, the vehicle nearest to this point on the map. You can also click on one of these blue triangles over here on the left in our vehicle list. And this, again, gives us the option to edit the device, show the trip's history for that vehicle, or assign a driver. So that is how to track your vehicles on the map screen in the My Geotab web portal.